What's up guys and gals, and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we'll be checking out a title called Greedventory. This one surprised me, the developers fired over the demo this morning and asked me to take a look at it. And this game actually has like shockingly good pixel art. Like this is a really good looking game that has a lot of love and care on in there. But Greed Venturi is kind of an interesting game for another reason. It's like a turn-based, it's not even like turn-based, it's like a real-time action RPG about scooping tons of loot, but it requires you to like actively block and kind of like you get into these battles and they're sort of like Final Fantasy battles. The enemy's over there and you're over here. Uh, but right and left click make you basically attack and block and you've got to like intercept their attacks before they get to you and there's magic spells you can cast that do various things uh, all that with just absolutely incredible production values like this honestly really really surprised me so anyways we're going to dive on in for about 25 30 minutes and see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list or otherwise pass on if after watching this video you wanted to get it for yourself, I got a link for you down below. You'll also find my Discord and my Twitch stream in case you wanted to hang out live. This game has a lot of dialogue, so let's get going. The holy paragon of mankind. First hero of the realm. On his selfless crusade against shades of evil haunting this world, has many a time come across ancient artifacts of might so tremendous it would warp the edge of reason itself only to cast them into the maw of the mountain for he deemed no mortal soul fit to wield a magical item of such power or any other magical item really regardless of the magnitude of its power the common folk did not know better than to bow to the will of the first hero. Thus arose the Igneous Sigil Brotherhood. Ah, safeguarding the realm ever since. Safeguarding the adventurers of the old from the spoils of their adventures. With little regard for their approval paying even less respect to the adventurers themselves. This will not stand any longer, my simple-minded yet able-bodied nephew. Wielding these last two legendary adventuring assets that I've struggled to keep safe through the years. You will restore the name of free adventurers to its former glory and end the Brotherhood's mad lust for power. Now, get out! So this game does a really good job balancing in between being bloody and grimdark and also being humorous in a way that I don't think that I've seen many other games do. Like, this game is viciously violent and, like, incredibly gory and bloody, and yet they're constantly cracking jokes. I've had enough, and you've been arson around for far too long. Oh yeah, there's a lot of profanity, too. This is definitely an R-rated game. A circus is coming to Greedford Bay to put on a show. And sure as hell, one of those Brotherhood, <laughs> they're going to be there as well. I'm going to have to skip over it because you know how YouTube is with the, with the bad language to ensure peace and safety my eye. Now, you have to convince them that you can't wait to join the Rotten Brotherhood. I had a shirt in the cutscene. Where did my shirt go? My immersion is broken. Give them this coin of broken promise as your entrance fee. They'll destroy it, no doubt. But, it's going to have some interesting consequences. And once you get in, we're going to bring those bastards down once and for all. That imp, he's going to have your back. And you, my old friend, remember to use the coin only when the time comes. We need it to save our old friend. Now go, and don't come back until you make me proud. All right, so here we are. We're inside the game proper. They're going to do a little bit of tutorializing, but effectively, you have left clicks, which make you do like a flurry swing wherever you have the mouse pointed. You have right clicks that make you block, and your shield actually has to intercept the enemy's fist or weapon or whatever else 
or else it's going to count. Uh, it'll kind of block it a little bit if you have the shield up, but if your icon's not in the right spot, you still take damage. You just take more stamina damage. On top of that, you can hold down various keys to make things happen. If I hold down the W key and I left click, it stacks bleeds on the enemy. If I hold down W and I do a heavy strike like that right there, it consumes all of the stacks of gleam that I've put on the enemy and makes me get radiance damage. This left-hand side, uh, I can basically stack up gleam on the enemy like so, and then I can detonate it like that. And basically, you can detonate these off of each other. So, like, you can detonate magic, you can detonate bleeds to heal yourself. And and the game actually has kind of a, a very, very real skill cap to it. Like, this is a hard game. I got about an hour, hour and a half in, and the fights had me sweating once I got that far in with all the blocks and everything. Uh, we'll break these open real quick. There we go. And then we got to break down this gate. Boom. Down goes the gate. Uh, everything in this game is fantastically well animated and gorgeous. Hey, long time no see. Who goes there? Oh. Sorry. I uh, got lost in my thoughts. Yep, that's good old Albert for you. It's uh, nice to see you, Imp. New adventures, huh? Again? Just hold still for a second, Albie. Yeah? My new pal here needs to practice his techniques. Wait, what? There we go. And so we're going to stack up some bleeds on this guy. Hey, Imp. Haven't I told you already? I'm not just a training dummy anymore. Oof. Block! All right, so he's going to attack, and we got to block like so, basically. Uh, we'll take damage if we don't block properly. Uh, this icon, by the way, does not exist once you get into the main game. You've actually got to watch where his weapon goes and block it, in case you were wondering. Uh, now they're probably going to want me to parry, uh, which means that you block perfectly, and then it stuns the enemy, and there is kind of like a timing to it, like so. I didn't get the second one, but I'll get the next one. Okay, block those ones, but didn't quite get the parry. Ah, you aren't as useless as I thought. Now, the repost. Alright, so now, when we parry the enemy, they're gonna get stunned. Like so, and then you can heavy strike them, and you'll get, like, a 200 million percent damage modifier that basically executes them instantly. Uh, Albert, you alright there, buddy? Oof, I think I might have overreacted. Oh no, did I hurt anybody? Ah, uh, I mean, you killed us both. Oh no! What have I done? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Wait. You and your jokes, imp. Again. Bye, Albie. Don't go anywhere. And so now we're actually going to be able to get into, like, the game proper. We've still got some more dialogue stuff going on, but we'll figure it out. Well, if you listen to me, you're going to be just fine. All right, well, off I go, shirtless and pantsless and shoeless. I, I feel like I could have been equipped a little tiny bit better for this conflict. As you walk through the city, you are allowed to click things, and there's lots of humorous dialogue and things that happen. But let's just... Ooh, there's a kitty. Meow, I can't... I have to pet the kitty. It's required. I got a kitty on my desk right now, and I got to pet it. I also have a dog. Pet that dog right there. Pet it. Don't touch that thing. I'm going to pet it three times. The happiest dog noises. That's right, that's what you get, Imp. We pet dogs around here. Whole town hopping mad. Damn, Grumps, that's tough. Shh, let me hear what it's about. Only by the sea's mercy am I standing here alive, boy. Did anybody else make it? Man, and what about the Brotherhood? They can go choke on an anchor side. Uh, they don't ask, stu don't ask stupid questions. I think they've talked about other places, not Greedford. I'm curious, though. Oi, you over there, you buying anything? Uh, what were you two talking about? None of your interest. Uh, this is the vendor right here. As you can see, it's very, very well animated. I could buy shoes right now, or possibly pantalones. 
uh, if I had any money with which to acquire the pantaloons. Uh, these do show up on your character. They do have a graphic that looks like the tooltip. They have fastidiously gone through and made it so that your sprite actually looks like what he's wearing, uh, which probably took a lot of effort, in my opinion, in a game like this that's sprite-based. It probably took a lot. Uh, we need to go to the circus, though. Shut your face. Get back and deal with them. I barely made it out alive, sir! Huh, would you believe a circus had such an intense atmosphere? But, uh, psh. And who the hell are you? Greetings! Seems like you're having some kind of trouble here? Help, huh? Well, you don't look like one of those brotherhood hounds. Certainly not. So what happened? Ah, uh, minor inconvenience. It's a long story, and you better go behind the cells and see for yourself. And, uh, use this. We've got the beast sedation powder. No time to explain. Just go. Alright, I will walk on over there with my tree club. And hopefully this will all work out. Yeah, <laughs> poor bastard isn't gonna know what hit him. And we do get to follow this breadcrumb trail of money uh, pretty much all the way back and off the map. Uh, you have to click on things. They don't automatically get picked up if they're in the foreground and the background. There are little hidden things around that you can do, like pop the balloons. Uh, the game is full of little details like that. It's very, very clear to me that someone very much liked this game when they were working on it. Meticulously inspected and approved by the Igneous Sigil Brotherhood. I don't think I can break the crates, though. Like, I think the crates are part of the background. Either way, we're a little bit richer than we were previously. There's some pots and stuff over Is there anything inside the pots? No, nothing inside the pots. Okay. All right, what do we got going on here? Oh, snakes, and one of them bit me in the face. Fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and light that snake up with some bleeds real quick. Uh, that attack got through. Oh, the back one attacked. They keep fainting, dude. They keep they keep fainting on me. Here, consume your bleeds. Ow, I am being chewed to death right now. This game is a lot harder to play while doing dialogue than when I was doing it by myself. Are you going to attack or are you just going to sit there, snake? There we go. There's the perfect block. And then you get the massive crit hit that wipes them out and throws blood all over the place. Now we got to put some protein powder on them and the snakes are gone. Uh, but we're in rough shape. Like I said, this is a lot harder to... Uh, yeah, I'll probably pop that. Let's stack up some bleed. Ooh, nice little parry right there. Maybe stack up some bleeds on that side. I blocked that one mostly. I was trying... Oh, okay, there we go. We'll go ahead and get rid of him. The Beast Master's Hat. It gives us life regen and maximum health. I will take it. And as you can see, it's been added onto my helmet right there. Let's continue forward. Stop. I can't look at you going on like this anymore. Let's teach you how to heal. Yeah, I, I know how to heal. It's just kind of... Stack up some serious bleeds on this nerd. Get him with the vibrant strike. Okay, so it goes to like right there. There we go. Get him with the big hit. Bop. And then I'll stack up some bleeds. Stack that up heal again oh it didn't really heal me that much all right fair enough i think i need to have like full bleeds or something to get the full effect of the actual vibrance ability either way our health is in a much better position than it was previously i don't think there's anything stopping me from just standing around until my health comes back so i think i'm gonna do that now that i've got a little bit of hp we're back on snake duty huh? Ooh, got him with the block on that first one okay let's get some bleeds on the clown we're going to smack that because it deals damage to all of them. I'm not against the idea. Oh my god, I'm getting attacked everywhere, dude. I'm all poisoned. Just smack that out of the air. Got the block right there. I'm going to get some bleeds on him. And then, big smack. I don't know if that worked the way that I wanted it to, but I tried. Alright, I tried really, really hard. Uh, they're both down, and we'll go ahead and eliminate them with the powder. And then we found an axe that's got gooey stuff all over it. This liquid. I assume this isn't a usual diet for these critters. Yeah, there's like claws and things on the sides of the wagons too. Smells familiar, but I can't pinpoint exactly what it is. 
All right, well, I'm going to get this bag real fast because it gives me gloves. And frankly, this entire adventure has been absolutely terrible on my physical body. I don't think I like... I never liked circuses in the first place. There we go. Get him, get him with that big smackaroonies. Oh, I blocked that one, but I didn't stop it. Get him with some bleeds. There we go. The bleeds are up. Maybe just bonk him real quick for the heal. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's get him out of the way, and we got a little bit more loot. Uh, the game makes a fart noise when you're too far away to interact with something that you clicked on, and that was the precise moment that I knew that this was basically my soul game. You made it, huh? How nice. Here's your reward. True hero's reward. Eh. Uh, there are booby traps and things. They do attack you, and you're going to want to avoid them. Otherwise, they do a bunch of damage. Keep an eye out when you're walking around for things like trip wires and, and stuff of that nature uh, because they actively cause booby traps to happen, and you can deactivate them. Uh, that clown's not hostile. There's a trip wire right there. You can see it. There we go. We'll break the trip wire, and then the little money catapult should not, like, go off. And we should be able to just grab the cash out of it instead of imbibing it through our face holes. All right. Grab that right there. And we're back to talkie talkie. You're back. I mean, good job, lad. Listen, uh, for your troubles, uh, I'll find something to pay you with a bit later. Uh, listen, since you saved my bacon there, maybe you can help with something else. Three of our acrobats were kidnapped today. Kidnapped? I know that sounds ridiculous, but why would they run away the day before payday? Besides, one of our workers heard muffled struggles in like a strange voice last night. Why don't you go and help, stupid sod? I thought it was just a bad dream, sir. Well, just go ask around if anybody's seen anything, alright? I don't have the time to ask our magician. You'll find him at the wagon. That's odd indeed. Will do. All right, let's go talk to the magician at the wagon and see if the uh, the old wagon magician has anything for us. That's a lot of scratch marks on that door. Excuse us. What do you want? Can we come in? We'd like to ask a few questions. No. Busy. I'm preparing for the show. Um, three men were kidnapped today. Do you know anything about that? Uh, no, maybe. I don't know. I, I've heard about it in the morning. I'm very busy. Show's starting soon. Uh, so you didn't see anything unusual last night? No, I didn't. I mean, yeah, yes. Something almost broke into my wagon. I've barely managed to barricade the door. There are some big markings on the door. See? It was terrifying. Anything else? Um, funny liquid that's out there behind the beast cages. What? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. If anyone would, it would be Comperi. I don't meddle with those things. Well, that's a quick answer. Now, excuse you, but I am really busy. Go bother somebody else. All right, so now we got to go report back. Oh, they've even got little lighting effects when you walk past the torch that get thrown onto your character. What a nice little detail. Gentlemen, I'm not sure how I can be of help. Wow, finally someone who's accustomed with manners. I've heard you're the ones who agreed to find our acrobats. Yeah, and we've come across this weird liquid behind the cages. And your wizard insisted you know something about it. Oh, yeah, of course he would. Don't even start it, Comperi. You two are always bickering. When are you going to grow up? Ha, huh, that's funny, sir. That pigeon-loving bastard blames me for everything only because I used to work at a halfling workshop as an artifactor. And he hates the mere thought of somebody outperforming him at the magical sciences. And that liquid, I swear I have nothing to do with it, but it does look familiar to me. Maybe you could show us where the workshop is? Only if you won't tell anyone that I showed you the way. I'll meet you at the city outskirts. Alright, off, off, and away we go. We must leave the Fort of Greed. Do I have any monies? I have 60 monies. Does 60 money buy anything? 60 money is better than zero money. Um, I can get some shoes. I'm gonna buy some shoes. I deserve shoes. I've earned this. 
There we go. I'm all shooed up. I'm a shoe in really. At least my feet aren't like, dude, I know what people used to throw on these cobblestones in medieval times. I don't want to be walking barefoot anywhere around here. There is not a pedicure in the world that can fix that. Crap. I'd better hide from their sight. Act natural. Um. Can you let me through? You may proceed, citizen. Well, we're going to have to find a better way to talk with those guys. All right, off, off, and away. There's an octopus right there. Now my hands stink. Well, what else did you expect? All right, this is definitely the place. No skeletons before, though. Love what they've done with the place. We'll take it from here. One more thing. Uh, my boss asked me to give you this. Couldn't afford a license for this second one anyways. But I mean, uh, we couldn't afford to leave a hero without a reward. I think I'll go now. Yeah, this is probably not the nicest place to be. The clattering of little tiny hands and the blood of tall folk on the walls. I mean, if anything, he's probably the designated person that should be here. I am taller than that line, so I'm kind of worried. Uh, he gave me a magical cape. It allows me to dodge. Ah, crap. Intruders! <clears throat> Hello? What is he? I repeat, intruders! Just you wait. My friends are going to be here. I got a feeling he's trying to call for backup. Ah. And failing. Alright, so this is the first type of enemy that's going to throw stuff at you, and you've got to teleport to dodge it. There we go. We blocked his attack right there. Let's give him a little bonk. Maybe followed up with some bleeds. He's going to throw another knife at me. I always miss that first one, man. Every single time, like clockwork. Uh, go ahead and bonk him for the extra heal. Hey! Eh. Ow! I've got a knife backwards inside of my sternum. Hate my life. At least he dropped the money, so that's good. I'm going to grab that real quick. And then what's inside this bag? A straw hat. It gives me more gold. Okay, I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it because I need this health regen. I'm out here. Oh, my God. I didn't think I could break the fire. Okay. Can I break the little horn thing? You think there's any backup at all? Let's get some bleeds on him. He's going to come down here. There we go. We got him right there. I probably should have bashed him with... Oh, he threw another knife. I didn't catch the knife. Well, I mean, in a manner of speaking, I caught it. It's inside my chest right now, but you get what I'm trying to say. I wonder if blowing up the fire has any effect. We got some butcher's gloves. It gives us stamina and health. And then we got an, a, a detached eye, which I assume is either a crafting material. Okay, so why do you need buckets full of blood? They're like, that's strawberry jam! Okay, apparently the halflings in this game are big fans of strawberry jam. Uh, I'm going to wear those gloves right there because they give me a lot more health. And then I'm going to be a cheese lord and wait for my health to come back before we fight anything else. I feel like our health is like mostly where I want it to be. So I think we'll be okay. Weak wound found. What do you mean weak wound found? Is it just like a codex thing that got entered? Either way, I just got 10 bucks, dude. I'm like slowly working my way towards owning pants. Aw, bro, three of them? Yeah, maybe avoid that. Maybe maybe kind of watch my stamina. I blocked him. Let's go ahead and drop him. He's now down. This guy's throwing heals, so I think he needs to go. We'll avoid that potion right there. He's throwing up another heal. Feels bad. I'm using way too much stamina right now. I think he's down, so we got the other one. I can't pick up the bag just yet. What are you going to do, man? I'm letting my stamina come back. I'm a There we go. Oh, I didn't get the parry right there. That's upsetting. Oh, I can break that too in midair. Nice. Okay, I will keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, I think bleeds might be the play here. Ow, dude, the stamina. I'm going to heal myself. I got to, like, figure out the exact point at which I can dodge that attack. It looks like the bleeds supersede... Uh, his ability to heal through. So I think we're all right. Now we got light leather gloves. Dude, there's a lot of loot in this game. 
A basket. I don't think I want to wear a basket on my head. How busted is my gear? Because your gear does have durability in this game, which is why they feed you so much loot. Is because you're supposed to be, like, swapping things out left and right and changing up your strategies. Like, the game is not supposed to be static. So I can get gear upgrade chances. Oh, is that the codex right there? It is. All right, fair enough. So the game has a fully animated codex as well. Skull, you got any loot inside you for me? How big are these caves? I mean, bigger than I feel like dealing with, that's for sure. It's a very resistant fire to being bludgeoned. Piss off, bro. We're trying to work here. Huh, so that's what they're for. All right, I accidentally clicked it when I was trying to break stuff. Uh, what's going on on this right-hand side? We got a bunch of doors and areas and things. Uh, a fat grip of money and some heals. I'll definitely take that. That's the good stuff right there. Uh, that's locked with a special... Ma that spider up there. Can I... Oh, I can gush the spider. I didn't expect that. <laughs> There's... Oh, I'm poisoned. There's so many, like, fantastic little details in this game. Are you done yet? Imagine Narzik's dumb face when he finds this on the training range. Oh, I told you we should have stayed at the outpost. Kind of just dodge that and not get hit in the face by it. They got double heals. Oh. All right, one down, one down, one down. We just kind of let the stam come back. We just kind of let this... Oi! Okay, big four-shot burst right there that I just ate to my domer. Keep some damage on him. Uh, obviously eat that straight to the face because I'm an idiot. He seems to be mostly interested in just throwing things at me. Big pile of gold. Oh, we might be able to get some actual serious equipment when we get out of here. Uh, we've got Butcher's Gloves, Entrance Key, Small Healing Potion, a little bit more Mun Muns. I'll take it. I'm going to do a Healing Potion real fast. Great Adventures, they said. Oh, there was a leftward way that I could go, too. All right, so we've got the Super Secret Key. Bro, best workplace in this hellhole. Yeah, bro. Peace and quiet, finally. How about some drinks, bro? Read my mind there, bro. What's up, fellow bros? Ah! Intruder! But how? Impossible. The entry guard chain system is impenetrable. Yeah, I get the feeling this is not going to work out for me. We'll go ahead and bash him up real quick. He did catch a heal right there, which kind of sucks, but I'll dodge that. He's going to throw a... Th Ow! It still counted! My heart is in agony. All right, so let's keep on fighting here. I'm going to let some stamina come back. I blocked some of that. But blocking some of that is probably not good enough. I probably want to block all of the attacks coming from the giant painful cudgel. Uh, can I break the boss mug? No. Oh, he's got some little pens up there, too. An impenetrable entry guard security chain. That's just plain sad. What's in here? Gilly's heart, some potions. Actually, where are them stamina potions at? I'd be out of stamina, like, left and right. I need to put those in my slots. Can't break the stools. Ah, it's because there was goodies inside of it that it was so difficult to break. Bro, are you serious? Who the hell? We've got drilling here. Skedaddle out of the range. Can't see anything. Damn, it's too far. I've said it's too far. Cry me a river. <laughs> Hold on, that's not one of our berserks. Ah, oh, intruder! It's time to test your accuracy, boys. Ready, aim, fire! This is gonna really hurt, isn't it? Oh, 
Oh god. Ow! Ow! Oh, there's so much healing flying around, man. Ow, dude! Yeah, I don't think I get healed unless they're stunned. Oh my god, that was brutal, bro. How am I supposed to do that? All right, so after like 15 minutes of throwing myself at this fight, I've got it I've got it figured out. We've got to use our shield to block the projectiles and throw them back at the enemy for the AoE damage. And then we've also got to block the healing things in our direction so that we can heal ourselves through the melee attacks that are happening coming out of these little gnome guys. So we're going to stack up some damage. I want give me give me that. There we go. All right, knife out. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Rough start. Rough start. Rough start. Uh, definitely taking a little bit of a pounding right now that I would rather not be taking. Need that heal. Thank you. I need... Ooh, okay. We flipped that one around. Oh, we back in business, boys. Knock that over here. That's mine. Thank you. And then knife, dodge. Oh, okay. Almost got me with that one, but the execution is looking pretty good. You have no idea how much practice and dying to this fight it took me to get good, all right? It took a lot of getting good. Oh, they're still throwing things at me. I can't loot the bags on the ground right now, and I don't know exactly why, but we're being pelted with lots and lots of explosives, so I'm just going to keep moving forward and trying not to get my nipples blown off by explosive halfling pee. Uh, but our HP is looking really, really, really bad right now. Uh, if they don't... Oh, my God. We're going into this. I need that. Give me... Oh, thank you. Okay, we're back in this. We're back in this. That's all that it took. That's all that it took. It just took us, you know, a second. We just kind of had to get back on the horse here. Oh, he's attacking. Uh, big hit. Block. Hey! hey, 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 hey. Give me that heal. That heal is now my heal. I also want that one. I will take all of them. Uh, I think you can actually just face tank their little melee attacks. So long as you're getting, like, every single heal. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dodge. I think, I think so long as I'm blocking everything, I'm okay. Let's throw that over to there. Okay, we're recovering now. God, dude, this is so tense. There we go. All right. I had to do this in post. Don't let my tone and my adaptation to what's happening on screen tell you right now. I couldn't do this fight while doing live commentary. I had to take time off. I had to. I had to do that. This commentary is like 20 minutes after I recorded this episode inside my editor right now. Don't let me fool you and lie. Damn, that was rough. Don't know about you, but I'm exhausted. Hey, look at that. Holy dice, now we're talking. Here, I can channel your greed into the experience and send you places we've already been. Want to check? Uh, the downside was it took me so much time to beat that that I lost all my money. When you die, you lose a bunch of money, all right? That's all you need to know. We had like 600 gold, and it took me so many attempts that I had to stop doing commentary so that I could focus entirely on the game and put my tongue inside of my cheek in order to get past that last little section. And so that's kind of where we are right now. I need like a new pair of gloves because mine got destroyed. Um, I need to, I mean, really... I could equip just about anything right now. I actually really like the idea of life regen, so I'm going to wear a pot on my head. We still have a couple of vendorables, so that's nice. Uh, apparently, I can level up here as well, but it costs money, and since I lost all my money trying to beat those fights over and over and over again, kind of getting good, unfortunately, I can't afford anything. It won't let me pick up any of my loot from over here. Oh, there, maybe you just gotta be out of combat. Maybe that's what it was. Like, I've beaten the first fight, or like the second fight, a couple of times. A wooden sword, three to four damage, that actually sounds nice. I will equip that sword, sounds good. Doesn't look like I can pick it. God, there's so many knives and things laying around. I thought that the game was bugged because it wouldn't let me pick up my loot that was back here when I did these fights, but I guess it still counted me as being, like, in combat, I suppose. And that's why uh, I can definitely use all that money. Thank you. I'm completely and totally devoid of any finances right now. Oh, it changes the little icon when you swing, too, when you get, like, a different weapon, like an edged weapon versus, like, a, like a blunt weapon. That's kind of cool. I just want something that covers my body with anything that actually protects me from physical damage. All right, so now leveling up, it looks like I can go with strength, which gives me HP and damage. Which feels like a strong play. I do like the idea of some vitality, too. 
But I'm gonna save a little bit of money for like a shop after this. Okay, we got some more goodies over here. I'll probably use the cracked barrel. I mean, it's better than the default one that I have right now, which is completely and totally broken, so I might as well swap into something new. Aw, oh, dude, I don't like these shadows being thrown around. Whoa, did you see that? Yes, I, I did, and I'm horrified by it, sir. I no longer want to do adventure fighting. Adventure fighting is not working out for me. I've died like 700 times. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Ow! That hurt so much. I don't think I'm going to open any of the pots anymore that are hard to open. He said as he did it again. Oh, there's like a little mouse hole over here. What is that? Oh, there's more of them. Next, Ratchet. You can run as fast as you can. Got it, Chief. What's up, boys? You're finally here. Welcome. I'm Yarny. These are Ratchet, Jaquil, and Nars. Um, nice to meet you. I'll do the talking. This is interesting. Uh, good evening. Lovely place you've got here. Thank you. We were waiting for you. That may sound unexpected, I know, but you and us happen to be on the same side. Huh, is that so? You're here to rescue those who were brought in last night, weren't you? Yes, and? Well, we don't like the way things are here. We were better off being just a bunch of peaceful scientists and artifactors. Fulfilling small orders for the Brotherhood. But no, Morzok decided to go for something bigger. Grabbed one of those damn things and made us build a machine. That fuses with him and gives him even more might and power. It uses living people as a supply. I tell you, he's insane and we gotta stop him. Okay, what's it for? Uh, how should I put it? Is for extracting and transferring growth? We're converting enemies to our kind. Brilliant and elegant solution. The ultimate weapon. Although, the first model had imperfections and blew up. But the second one is even more powerful. That's why we need to stop Morzok. Okay, we already? My friends and I. We regret that we were a part of it and we can't stand it. But Morzok possesses extreme power and we can't resist him openly. So, we're going to sabotage and destroy the machine and set the prisoners free. Thus, we're all on the same side, see? So you need our help. Okay. What kind of help do you need? As I said, the machine is almost finished. I happen to know the delivery route is a core part of it. And you want us to deliver that thing so you can screw it up. Exactly. We'll make sure nobody in the labs knows about the intrusion. What do you say? Uh, weird but reasonable, sure. Thank you! Uh, here's a permit to the secure delivery path. You'll need it to get through. Over here is a slide leading to- You guys have a slide? And the lake- At the lake past the elevators, there are lots of green shrooms. You per your permit is for the door amidst them. Good luck. All right. Oh, that was an accident. I didn't mean to do that. That was that was friendly fire. That's my B. That's my B. Uh, I wanted to go. I didn't check this previous area, but I think we're just about out of time for the day. This is Greedventory. Uh, this is a hard as nails game. Uh, it escalates very, very, very quickly. Like quite quickly. Like aggressively quickly. Uh, this game is one of the first games in a really, really long time that forced oh you get healed by standing next to a fire why don't i keep breaking them dude oh i'm hella dumb okay breaking fires is bad don't ow i just hurt myself Woo! well it's dodgeable ow i did it again anyways this is greed Ventory. uh this is not a game that is for the feeble of heart uh, this is a game that absolutely expects you to give good, like get good, and does not care if you struggle. When you lose, you lose money, which is XP, and like the fights are really, really hard. And it took me a minute to like calculate what I was supposed to be doing. Uh, but it is very, very cool, and it is very, very beautiful. Why? Show yourself. Are there people inside those pots? Have I been murdering people? Oh no. But anyways, 
Uh, if you are into a challenge and you like games with very, very good pixel art that are utterly gorgeous, really fantastic to look at, very high production values, this might be the kind of challenging action RPG for you. Greedventory. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what is worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block, Greedventory, tomorrow it will be something else. Thank you for chilling with me. Bye, folks.